Monday afternoon, there were three earthquakes in the low country and it caused a lot of chatter online. So let's talk about how unusual these earthquakes are and why it's so significant for South Carolina. Well, that 3.3 at about 621 on Monday was the largest earthquake in the state since that Edgefield earthquake back in 2014, if you remember on Valentine's Day. So it's rare in a sense to see earthquakes reach above that 3.0 magnitude. We've only had 11 of them across the state since 2000. But this is an earthquake hotspot. I'm talking areas like Ridgeville, Somerville, and into Charleston. We've had seven of our 11 3.0 earthquakes since 2000 in this spot. So it's definitely a fault. Obviously, these earthquakes are considered pretty mild. You can see most of them were kind of just hovering right around that 3.0 range. None of them led to more serious earthquakes. So you can definitely kind of breathe a sigh of relief knowing that this is just the fault doing what it does, creating these minor earthquakes from time to time. But occasionally it can be a little bit more than a minor earthquake, like in Charleston back in 1886. That same fault produced a 7.0 earthquake, by far the largest, not just in the state, but in the East Coast on record. And that one was felt in Bermuda, Chicago, New Orleans, and Cuba, at least according to reports. The next strongest in South Carolina was in Union County back in 1913. And then we had our third largest in Charleston just in 1974, relatively recently, but a much weaker earthquake at 4.7 typically doesn't produce any major damage issues, but the fourth and fifth largest in the state were actually aftershocks that occurred in the months after that 7.0 earthquake in 1886. So that fault can occasionally produce some big issues, but it is totally normal to get these mild earthquakes from time to time from that fault. And just to give you an idea, because obviously we don't really know very much about the moment magnitude scale on the East Coast. We use it rarely. So a three, that's a considered a minor earthquake, which often just produces no damage at all. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calmia.